Hi, I'm Nicole from Fitness Experience, here today with Graham, he's one of our senior equipment technicians from our Nanaimo location, and we're going to run you through some basic treadmill maintenance. Let's get to it! The tools you will need to perform this are a large clean bath towel that you don't mind getting dirty, silicone lubricant spray or liquid, Phillips head screwdriver to remove the end caps at the rear of the treadmill if required. Check the rear roller bolts at the end of the treadmill to see what type of tool you will need to turn the bolts. These are usually an Allen head bolt or a hex head bolt. First, we are going to clean the treadmill. Unplug the unit from the wall completely. Start by marking where the bolts are on the end cap. This will be helpful later to know how tight they started at. Loosen those bolts the same amount on each side until you can put a large bath towel underneath the running belt. Feed the towel under the width of the running belt until there is enough room on both sides to hang on to. Holding onto the towel on either side, go up and down the length of the unit to clear the top of the surface deck and underside of the running belt of debris. Shake it out and repeat to ensure everything is removed. Now that the underside of the running belt and the top side of the deck are clean, we can provide our silicone lubricant. Start by applying silicone lubricant to the top third of the treadmill deck under the running belt. Tighten rear bolts to where you originally marked them prior to cleaning the unit. Step onto the belt and move it along manually to spread the lubrication to the entire length of the deck surface. Plug the unit back in and start the treadmill at 2 miles per hour. At this point, you want to observe the running belt. If the belt drifts away from its centered position, you will need to realign it. The most important factor is that the belt is not rubbing one side. Follow these next steps to realign your belt. If the belt drifts to the right, slowly turn the right hand mounting bolt clockwise about half a turn, then observe while the belt adjusts. Continue adjusting in small turn increments, allowing the belt to take some time to realign to each adjustment you perform. This same procedure can be done on the left side as well if the belt is drifting to that side. Once aligned, turn up the speed to four miles per hour to test if the belt is staying centered. If it is still drifting to one side, revisit the previous step by tightening the side that is drifting. Continue to increase the speed and make sure the belt is reacting to the adjustment properly. The very last step in completing your treadmill maintenance is to test the tension. For this, we recommend a stomp test. While on the unit and hanging on, have the user stomp with force and a slight forward motion as if the user was trying to stop the running belt from moving. If the user can easily stop or cause the belt to slide, then the rear adjustment bolts both can be turned in a clockwise movement to tension that rear roller away from the motor compartment. Turn the treadmill off and turn the right and the left rear roller belts clockwise. This will tighten the running belt evenly, keeping the alignment correct. Turn the treadmill on and retry the stomp test. Continue to do this test and tighten the bolts evenly until the belt does not slide. You did it! You completed your basic treadmill maintenance. Treadmill maintenance will extend the life of your treadmill. In addition to the steps that we outlined today, please also make sure that the treadmill and the area around the treadmill stays clean.
Thanks for watching our video. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about any of these steps, you can always give us a call or we can send out one of our maintenance technicians. Thank you.